this is Cheeto's challenge is made by a community of Banjo Kazooie ROM hackers. Hello there, Cheeto. Welcome to my little library. Six tales full of danger and mystery awaits you. Are you up for the task? Can you complete Cheeto's challenges? Uh, why not? So the cool thing about this is each chapter is made by a different ROM hacker. So let's go do Grunty's Bakery by by nine first. I've played a lot of hacks by by nine before, like his Banjo Kazooie and Animal Crossing hack. Our Worlds Collide by by nine, which is also a really good one. This is a really cool rendition of Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies to like such an iconic song. There's a pretty unique sound in here too. All right, so we got a Jinjo in this donut here, and I'm playing this on like actual console too via like an EverDrive 64, and this is just running just perfectly right now. So this hack is also uh, specified as a diorama hack, which means that all these worlds are going to be pretty small and short. So. I guess, yeah, it's supposed to be a spoon of some sort. But yeah, I really like the texture work in this and everything. And usually food worlds can be pretty hard to implement into Nintendo 64 games because you're working with such low poly models, but it seems like they did a really good job just incorporating like kind of like squares desserts and everything like makes sense in this world. Yeah, gotta be careful here. Actually, no, this is pretty wide. It'd be pretty hard to fall off this. Of these six worlds, since they're all made by different creators, I'm sure they're going to be just vastly, vastly different, you know? Because usually when multiple people work on a project together, you'll have one person as, like, the level designer, one person doing, like, textures, one person on music, but... It seems like each world is just made by just one person individually, so... It'd be kind of neat just to see different people's perspectives when it comes to level design, you know, especially all in the same sort of hack and given the same parameters. I guess I'd probably pick Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, just because Sugar Plum, like a dessert theme level, I guess it kind of makes sense. To be honest, I never knew the name of this song. I, I spent like five minutes like frantically searching for it, googling it so I could like reference it. Oh no. Okay, yeah, let's get that laugh. Even just the lighting this is really good too. I wonder, wonder how they actually did that. If this might actually just be a different texture than the stuff over there, they might have like made fake lighting by the way that they're doing the textures, which is really cool. You don't see lighting very often in uh, Banjo Kazooie ROM hacks. You know, usually everything's the same. Even just how these candles have like a shadow effect too. Like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, those candles usually when cast light like this, this is done just purely through texture work, which is really impressive. There we go. I was getting a little bit worried there, to be honest, when I had two health left. But... Usually ROM hacks are pretty... pretty difficult. It's pretty rare for me to complete a whole ROM hack without dying at least once. So I'm sure I'll probably have at least one death of one of the six worlds. Who knows, So I guess the further we get, the easier it's gonna get, too, because we're gonna have more gold feathers, or maybe even extra honeycomb piece, but I'm assuming... We probably won't get enough honeycomb pieces to get an extra one. Or maybe at the end we'll end we'll have enough just to get one more honeycomb. Alright, there we go. And Alright, nice. <laughs> I like the top there. The eyes and everything. Okay, so we are missing one jiggy and four notes. So 20 notes in each level. 20 notes, that's kinda like a nice happy medium. Okay, I think that's it for this cake here. I think we do need to get inside the teapot, though. Um. Okay, yeah, it seems just like regular water, but... Okay, come on. Kinda cool how they got, like, the steaming effect, too. Okay. Do we... Okay, no, this is the bad water, so we gotta be really careful. It'll be really easy to die in there. Yeah, it said it's like the poisonous water. I mean, it makes sense. Like, we're in a boiling, boiling hot water there, so... Okay, sweet. That is... All the notes, too. Okay, perfect. And they might even save the notes if we die, because I heard... I think Cutthroat Coast saves the notes. 
and it's made by a lot of the same people, so the notes might actually save in this hack, too. I don't know, hopefully we won't have to find that out, but... You never know, six worlds. I'm bound to mess up on one of them. Oh yeah, okay. So one of them is gonna come from the Jinjos, which I think... Is this the last one? It is! Okay, perfect. So yeah, so I guess five Jinjos, which give you a Jiggy. A Jiggy, 20 notes, and then the Honeycomb here. Wait, does this work? Oh yeah, it does. Alright, so that honestly wasn't that bad. Alright, really cool first world here. Alright, cool. Let's check out the next world here. We are gonna go to Sky High Spire, written by that cow guy. Okay, and I've played some hacks of that cow guy too. He made the Banjo Kazooie Fort Fun, which was the Banjo Kazooie troll hack. Alright, so we're just already on to like another Fort Tower, so. I'm already getting like a little bit of vibes from like uh, Banjo Kazooie Fort Fun. Do this part here first, because if we die right now, it's not going to be too bad. I have a feeling this one's going to be harder. I already have to do a jump that was somewhat hard, but I'm glad I did that first, because if that was my last note, I'd be like way more nervous and it really messed me up. This kind of reminds me of Ocarina. Oh, okay. This kind of reminds me of Ocarina of Time at the end, where um, uh, you're uh, coming down Ganon's castle there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it for that part. No. Um, I'm assuming we just go. Yeah. Okay, that guy seems like he's just stuck in the wall. <laughs> Let's see what this jiggy switch does. Okay, so there's one way up there. 45 seconds to get there, though. Yeah, I'll worry about that a bit later. Unless we literally just have to, like, run through here. That, that, hey, this is part of it. I mean, it probably is? Actually, no, this seems like a different Jiggy entirely here, yeah. So I guess there isn't a Jinjo rule. Like I was thinking there might be. And the four notes could easily be in here because I just ran through this without even really looking. Okay, yeah, here's the last four notes. Okay, sweet. I just like how every level just has such a distinct playstyle because it's made by a different author. Okay. Okay. I guess that's one way to go back to the start. Okay, here we go. Oh, so that's the purpose of getting up here this way. Alright. If I just go... There we go. Okay, and I guess this area here is just kind of meant for a way to get back so you can uh, get back to the start really easily. Okay. Alright, really cool area here. Alright, so I'm assuming this next floor will have another two. Calamari Canyon, written by Banjo Freak 64. Alright, Banjo Freak's level. Let's check this out. I'm obviously kind of thinking of Calamari Desert, especially with that train, so we'll see how this one goes. Oh yeah. They have that music too, very fitting. Oh yeah, this is... Like Calamari Desert and Banjo-Kazooie in a sense. 
Really cool to hear this song in the Banjo Kazooie uh, sound of sound aesthetic here. And I maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I think this one's gonna be one of the easier ones because I think everything's just gonna be kind of laid out. Seems like a smaller level, but and I like I, don't know, I really like this song too. And you can tell it's like slowed down a little bit too. It's kind of like those uh, YouTube mixes where it's like slowed with reverb. Okay, wait. Can I stand on this? Yes, I can. There we go. The train track here. And then... Thinking... Oh, wait. Looks like we might even have a spot that we got a beat bomb. Okay, actually, this level's a lot bigger than I initially first anticipated. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, they retextured the gravestone via cactus, too. No, that's really sick. whole other area here. Actually, we really need this. I forgot I was that low on health. That could have been really bad if I uh, ran into one of these cactuses by accident. Okay, yes, I can jump down here. Alright, yeah, took a little bit of damage, but... Yeah, I'm assuming this is just a barricade, yeah. And I like how they like got lots of the textures and stuff just directly from Mario Kart 64. Crossover I didn't know existed, but that I needed. But yeah, let's... Uh, do we have mini feathers? Okay, yeah, we do. No, it's very nice because this was the first world that you went to. You might need those feathers. Alright, and it's all connected like that too. Wow, all those cactuses are actually the, uh, the graveyard guys. They almost look like little watermelons in a sense, too. Alright, another one of these. Um... Yeah, that, those guys actually work really well as cactuses. Surprisingly. Okay, so just missing one. Okay, nice. And then... Probably the only other one. Oh, there is the last note that we're missing too. Oh, nice! That opens up that. Oh, actually, I don't have much time. I think I'm on the right side. Or no. Uh, ten. Oh no, eight. Be close. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, just made it. Just in time. Nice. Oh, I like how they literally have Calamari Desert in the background there. That is so cool. That is sick how they did that. I'm just curious. I doubt we can jump down. I mean, I got all the notes anyways. Need to warp back. I'm just curious. If. What's down here? Oh, yeah. Just avoid it. Okay, there we go. Honeycomb's good. Oh, there it is! <laughs> That's actually really cleverly hidden. I honestly thought that was part of the sign. <laughs> no, that's actually really good how they did that. Okay, that was a really, really cool world there. Yeah, there should be a shell there. Honestly, I saw that sign so many times and it just blent right in. So, oh, that was... That was really good. All 
right, let's go to level three here. Cascade Cliffs, written by Brady. I wonder if this is like Cascade Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Like cool, kind of has a bit of like a Mario 64 vibe, a little bit. Or no, like I guess like probably more Mumbles Mountain. I mean, do not recognize the song yet. I don't think we can jump down from here or anything like that. Yeah. You luckily have some gold feathers from some other levels. <laughs> Save those up. So yeah, there's gonna be five five Jinjos and one Jiggy. Oh just gone up. Very nice. Oh yeah, that was actually kinda tight to get up there. Kind of at a loss, so we're gonna get over there. There's not much here. I think we might have to fall down that waterfall. Yeah, okay, we definitely do because I see a beach area over here. I'm really hoping this waterfall leads to it. Oh wow. Okay, nice. So we don't take any fall damage too, which we got that going for us, which is nice. Anything under here? Oh, hey, no. Good game design to show, have that waterfall kind of showing you that you have to come down here. How are we gonna get back up? Probably a flight pad. I have to take a guess, and then once we get the flight pad, we can go up to the top level, which is cool. There's like three separate levels to this level. Oh. Okay, the camera's behind the waterfall. I thought maybe the game glitched out there and just became dark or something. Yeah, there is the aforementioned flight pad. And now we'll just see what's down here. Ooh. Yeah, let's just take care of these guys. Oh yeah, 14, yeah, so probably six notes at the top, and... Alright, I think it's time to take flight here. With the snowy areas, like... But I think, it seems like all these levels are like the same difficulty. I thought they might try to put the more difficult ones in the end, but I think everything seems like semi-linear for difficulty. I can almost guarantee you the honeycomb is going to be under the snowman, or maybe it'll it'll be a jiggy. I've always hated hitting like the top of the hat. Okay, there we go, first try. Oh, it is the jiggy up here. Oh shoot, there's another one of them. Okay, nice. There is a pad there. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Just one more Jinjo. I'm glad they are very generous with feathers, too. And... Okay, I'm afraid they're just gonna hit me in the air. Okay. You have a fair bit of health. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Don't. Okay. Let's get that uh, honeycomb pack there. Yeah, we really need that. Okay, there we go. Got our last Jinjo that I somehow missed. 
Oh, Jinjo's probably just shaking his head. He's so close to getting saved, and he sees Banjo just, just flop right in front of him. There we go. Right, both Jiggies, just Honeycomb and the Notes. Uh, just a single note here, what a tease. Oh! Was that two notes on top of each other? You found all 20 notes, oh! Wait. Oh wait, is this a hole down here? Oh, okay, I bet you, yeah, Honeycomb has to be in here. It's a pretty hid hidden Honeycomb there, I guess I just didn't see the hole first time I was down here. Okay, perfect. Right on to the next level. All right, next we got Oceanarium by Squash MVP. So I'm thinking this is gonna be like a water sandbox sort of thing, maybe. All right, a lot of eggs here. Some other eggs are gonna be part of it. This honestly kind of reminds me of like Noki Noki Bay from uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. There's two notes here. Yeah, pretty good looking level here. Snacker in here. Oh, maybe that's why we have the eggs, because we're supposed to get rid of them. Oh no, uh. Oh no, okay, let's just go over here. Yeah, put on this net here. Okay, nice. Yeah, then from here, we can get on here much easier <laughs> than climbing up the other way. I swear these might be taken directly from Noki Noki, but they look like super, super similar. Uh, this kind of looks like it's going to be a bit of a scaling level. And yeah, I guess we are like in a glass aquarium here if you look at like... Yeah, there's a glass texture there and you can kind of see the top there. It's just the glass looks so good it just kind of seems like invisible walls, but... Oh yeah, we're so high. Up, oh wow, different loading zone. I mean, I guess it makes sense. We're pretty high up, like... They only do so much in a single loading zone, so... I really don't see the purpose of this, to be honest. Okay, we might have to go back there. I'm gonna go... To this other area of the level here. I really don't see the purpose of that uh, top spot there yet. Maybe we have to come from it from the other angle, or the other side. I'll just show them that we can get there either way. This one's pretty interesting. I wonder where these stars come from. They're like ripped from like another game or something. Yeah. Yeah, nothing behind the stars. I guess we're like right up against the aquarium wall here too. Our Oceanarium, is what they call it. Alright, there we go. Wow, it's so steep, but we're able to climb it somehow. Uh... Oh, oh wait, no, I think we gotta go... Okay, sweet. At least that wall's there, so it makes it a bit easier. Oh yeah, so then we can just get up on the star like that. I don't think we're supposed to go over there. Or maybe we are. Yeah, it looks like we actually are. Oh, this is so, so nerve-wracking. What? Okay. <laughs> At least we didn't die. Wow, that could have been really close. Okay, yeah, that's a lot safer of a jump. Did I miss something? Like, okay, it doesn't look like there's anything on that triangle, but it could just be the draw distance, so we'll have to keep that in mind. 
Let's see. Okay, I don't think there's anything there. Okay, yeah, now we go to the top of it. Yeah, that's kind of strange that there's that other loading zone that I guess probably like even higher or something. Oh, okay. Little that nipper. Classic battle here. I bet you will probably get a jiggy for defeating him. Okay, nice. And I wonder if we can go inside of the nibbler like in the regular game. Okay, let's see if we got 14 hours still. Fair bit of notes off here. I got arrows so I don't throw around like the whole thing. Yeah, let's see what's over here. Oh, there is a note there. Okay, so we gotta keep that in mind. There's a note on the star, so we're gonna go back down. Go over there. Yeah, so this is what took us to the different loading zone when we climbed up all the way. Okay. 17. So I guess this area up here is what I need to figure out. Okay. So I like the lamp in the aquarium. And then it looks like, oh, there is a note there. Is there a note on one of these ones too? Yeah, no. So let's just... Okay, nice. And nice. We got the second jiggy. Okay, so that makes sense. I guess I just didn't think of jumping over there the first time. Just now I'm a little bit worried because I'm missing a note and I'm not really sure where that honeycomb is either. Oh wow, it's actually one zone. If I had to guess where the note was, I'd probably say in the water somewhere. I think we gotta take care of Snacker here. Um. There we go. Bet you some of you guys did not know that you could do that. Because most people don't do that when they're playing the regular game, but... Wait, is that a... I don't know, it's just a regular honeycomb. Oh, there it is! Okay, I had a feeling it was going to be there. Wait, is that a note there? It is. Why did they put a note there? Okay, whatever. Oh no, oh, this is... Okay, there we go, 20 notes. <laughs> and that was kind of a random spot for one. But alright, we got, we got all of them. Alright. Twilight Avenue, written by RetroNuva10. Alright, last level, let's check this out. Twilight Avenue. Nice. I like the look of this already. It definitely kind of has a little bit of that Cutthroat Coast look from uh, another mod that was uh, Retro Nova was involved in. Oh, I like it. The Challenge of Cheeto. How the Grunch Stole Christmas. That's a mod by Mark Kirko. And then we got the, the Curse of Cutthroat Coast, which was the mod I was just talking about. Now this one's really well textured. This is a really nice looking level here. Wait, is that a... Psst! Did you hear that, Kazooie? Psst! 
Is that a, a talking manhole? No beak brain, I'm hiding. Hiding from what, sir? From the alien. Oh boy. Hey, don't tell anyone, but there are top secret documents scattered around the city. Can you grab them for me? Why can't you get them? Because of the aliens. Right. How could I forget? I think there are six documents. I must uncover the government's lies before the aliens probe me for my intelligence. Alright. Okay, I thought that was a ledger you get onto. Yeah, like, I really like the texture work, just all the buildings and the geometry and everything. Like, this is a really, really nice looking level. A good way to end off the hack here. And... Wait, is that a document? It is! Okay, nice. That's really cool. Detective murder mystery almost. Six. Oh nice, it's another one. Okay, wow, this is actually an area that is completely boxed off too. And nice three. Halfway. And nice. Yeah, it's not too tricky. I uh, just want to just chill on the bench, because why not? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I almost got all of that. It's actually going by really quick. It's always the last one that takes the longest to find. Okay, nice. So then, 16. Oh, and there we go. There's the last tape. Sweet. Yeah, there's another note that we're missing, or two. Actually, yeah, this looks like kind of like the last area we probably need to go to. Alright, I'm assuming we'll probably get a Jiggy for this. This is probably retextured acorns now that I'm thinking of it. Or remodeled, I guess. At last, I can finally blow the lid off this. Conspiracy, let's see. But what? These are just tax forms. <laughs> Blast it, the government's on to me again. Anyways. Take this alien artifact. Alright, nice. Oh wait. Now there's 20 jiggies. Our honeycomb. And the last jiggy. Alright, what a way to finish up this level. Yeah, man. This one just at the cinema. Okay, sweet. Alright, so that. Really good way to end off the game there. It's a really nice world. Alright, let's see what's in this hundred note door now. Alright. Let's see how many jiggies that we need. In order to complete Cheetle's challenge, you must bring 10 jiggies here and give them to me. Alright. Alright. Sweet. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, so you can't walk off. Okay. Congratulations, you have completed Cheeto's challenges. No reward, right? Only the satisfaction of a job well done and the reward of experience. No reward, got it. Later, bookface. Hang on, we still got the credits to do. Oh, go on then. Thanks to that cow guy, Banjo Freak 64, Squash, Brady, 
RetroNuva10, and by 9 for making the stories. Thanks to RetroNuva10 for custom music. Thanks to Wadorbi for hacking. Thanks to the creators of Banjo's Backpack, and thank you for playing. Very nice, that was a really cool ROM hack there. Really cool to see six worlds from six different creators. I'm gonna have all the creators in the description down below if you guys wanna check them out. And thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you wanna leave a like or maybe consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I hope that you all have a great day.